you ask, who are these guys? We are the living experiment. This is the epic story of a band of pioneers, several families who have uprooted from comfortable suburbia and made their homes for good in one of the most blighted zip codes in the U.S., 64127, Likens Neighborhood, Inner City, Kansas City. Each of us, standing with our neighbors, believe there is hope. But we know that money alone will not solve the problem. Gunshots down the street, and looks like they got our tree pretty good. Right there. We are called to put our very lives into the mix for the sake of the next generation. Our passion is to see life cultivated in the urban core. In the following episodes, you will see our journey as we dive into everything from urban fish farming to reducing crime rates in the neighborhood. From job creation all the way to getting healthy food into the hands of everyday people. We are about sharing knowledge. We are searching the ends of the earth to find the most reproducible, low-tech, self-sustaining, high-yield methods of urban farming. And we're sharing it with you as we journey to build up our community here in the urban core. Stay tuned as we push the limits of small spaces, small budgets, and off-grid scenarios. See us try to grow 2,000 pounds of tilapia fish in a space smaller than your living room. Can we produce fish and vegetables in high yield, year-round, without high energy costs? Can we produce enough of our own energy on-site with biogas produced from our fish waste and food scraps to run our urban farm? What about a third world country where the electricity is intermittent or non-existent? We love the grid, but could we live without it? Watch as we take this technology even lower as we get a prototype ready to go to India fall of 2011. We can feed the nations with duckweed. You feed the duckweed to the fish, you eat the fish, and it's all free. This stuff just multiplies. We're going to take this duckweed frozen and stick it in there just, just like it is. And the fish just love it. It grows about 40 times faster than corn. We come and harvest half of it off, come back in two days, and it's ready to harvest again. It'll be gone in about 30 seconds. Right now it's thawing. They're just eating it like mad. Can we produce all the feed for our livestock on site? Come check this out. This here is our worm bin. It has about 20,000 worms in it. And this here is blended up food scraps, frozen. And we blend it up for a reason so they can eat a lot faster. These worms double every three months. And they eat their weight in food every day. This is what we're after right here, guys. Worm poop. Super nutrient rich. We use it as part of our organic potting soil mix. Could a half acre plot in the inner city become self sustainable and function off the grid? These chickens here put 20 eggs a day. Follow us as we construct an aquaponic, food-producing machine from everyday materials at a fraction of what you could buy it for. Here we are growing vegetables and fish together right in the water. This is a symbiotic relationship where the vegetables clean the water for the fish and the fish fertilize the vegetables, all without soil. And we don't waste anything. Every day we get a load of manure off these tanks where the, the fish waste gets settled out. We come with a bucket and we get a bunch of free fertilizer. Then we take the fish manure and pour it into the biodigester to create methane gas as it composts over the next seven weeks. This gas can be burned to heat the greenhouse or put in a generator to create electricity. And what about the neighborhood question? Can we come together in the inner city and lower crime rates, create jobs, and nourish a seed for the future? Can we provide a better opportunity to the 13-year-old than the allure of fast money and the friendship found in a gang? Can we work together to grow our urban core into a place of hope for the hopeless? Here we purchase this rundown old school building on the block. Can we bring it back to life? Follow the story as we build on the potential and creativity of our youth. Follow us as we try to answer these tough questions as a neighborhood, grassroots style. These videos are made to empower. They are made to actually put the technology into your hands step by step. Can it be done? We believe that you are a part of the solution. Stay tuned.
Sharing knowledge, feeding nations. So since we posted the video, lots of people are asking, how can I be a part? Well, most importantly, you can do this. We're going to launch hundreds of videos to help you do this in your city on a shoestring using the most low-tech, reproducible methods as possible. We're asking you to join this cause to empower people across the globe with food freedom and to establish sustainable communities equipped with jobs, alternate energy, good food, and the necessary technologies to thrive in any economy. On the website, we have laid out a hundred ways that you can join us in changing the world. Contribute your skills or knowledge, lock arms with us, bring much needed sponsorship to our projects, do an internship with us, or just come out and tour the farm. To find out more, go to our website, hit the big red change the world button. You can't miss it. So the first thing we need to do is spread the word. Get the video way out there. Post this thing on your Facebook. Send it in the email to your top 10 pals. Tell them why this is a must-see video in your own words. The second thing you need to do is subscribe to our weekly videos. We're putting some kick-butt videos out every week. Go to the website at theurbanfarmingguys.com and hit the subscribe button. Then you need to join the conversation by going to our Facebook page, The Urban Farming Guys. Hit the like button, stay in the loop, don't miss out. So share the video, join the cause, happy birthday, and tag you are it.